that's probably out. So today we're going to put a PTO switch on the Husqa V548. Having an issue, I'm not really sure what's going on with the guy. It, uh, look at this. And I know there's a lot of places really wet this, uh, this year, but we, it doesn't rain here. I'm in a high desert. So even when it sprinkles, I know a lot of you guys wouldn't even call what we're having rain. This is barely getting the parking lot wet. But for me, this is a monsoon. It just doesn't rain here. We're, we're irrigation. That's how we have green stuff. Not by, not by mother nature. Uh, anyway, having an issue with my V548. Uh, it's really hard to recreate. The guys will run it. They'll get through a few lawns and then the PTO stops engaging. So I'm really not sure what's going on there. I don't know. Maybe in the comments leave. If you have an idea, uh, there's no point in putting it in a shop because it took me three days to get it to recreate. Um, and I don't want to pay for it to be in the shop the whole time. And just having it down when I can try some little stuff and hopefully fix the problem. So we're going to pull the Husky up here and we're going to swap a PTO switch out on it. And hopefully that will solve the problem. I won't know until it goes out on a mow route though. Because the PTO switch works fine when it's cold. Uh, it usually takes it a few lawns of mowing before the PTO stops engaging. So, and none of the wires look like they have a short. Uh, nothing going. I don't know. So maybe in the comments, if you have uh, an idea of something I'm not noticing, uh, or that I should know, uh, let me know, man. I could use the help. So let's swap this PTO switch out. Okay, so I jump started it, brought it back here. I've already taken the seat off. I flipped up the the whatever the platform <clears throat> just so I can scoot in here tighter. So here is the bottom of the PTO. And on the PTO there are and I'll show you on the new one. And use one handed. So on the PTO, there are these squeeze clamps. And that's how it inserts. So I'm just going to squeeze the clamps, pull it up through there, and then I'll disconnect it, rewire it, and run it back down. So see, there's the clamps I was talking about. So I squeezed it, had one hand under here and squeezed it. My other hand over here, I just pulled up on the PTO switch. And that's how I brought it through. Now I'll just pull it out of the socket and punch the new one in. Okay, so here's the part in the mower. Here's the PTO switch that come out. It literally just pulls right out of this socket. You might, here's a little detent. I didn't even mess with that, but you see how that little detent there, or that little, that's this part right here. So you just squeeze that, and with your other hand, just pull straight out. So, here's the old one obviously there's the new one so now we're just going to take the new one <sighs> we're just going to punch it back in I'm going to take my air compressor I'm just going to take my my air gun I'm going to blow out around there <clears throat> just, just in case there's any any funky down in that plug and then uh then we'll pop this guy back in and get the cruise feedback uh tomorrow when they come back in from the route so the pto switch i pushed it down straight down in there and you hear a little click now it's in there nice and solid this it's going to focus on my hand we'll just 
Try switching up like that. Let's see if we can get a focus in there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that to focus, but you hear that little click. So now this just push straight up into there. It's in there nice and tight. Now we'll fire it up. Probably gonna have to jump start it again because this wasn't sitting on the trickle charger and the battery. I need a new battery for it. And uh, make sure that PTO turns back on. <laughs> 